Today we will be discussing the Percocet handoff in the Young Thug courtroom case. I'm Rugburn. And I'm Pickled Landon. And this is Tombstone Tourist. We're going to go ahead and start things off with the video of Young Thug receiving the Percocet and the marijuana. Wasted no time on busting his ass on that one. They were like, what the hell? That was like one of the most unsmooth. Yeah, he was he was walking true. over as he was walking over. That's one of those ones you got to cancel mid. mid uh, yeah, he should have aborted mission, no doubt. Everyone knows who Young Thug is, right? I feel like that goes without explaining. He's currently in the middle of a RICO. We won't get too deep into that in this episode. But that's why he's in court, right? And the guy that handed it off was uh, one of his co-defendants, right? And Khalif Adams. Khalif Adams. He is essentially a crash dummy, right? He has... What do you mean by that? He's just a crash dummy. Like, what more can they do to him? Like, he's already in prison for life. Like, there's no hope of getting out. He has no ability to parole out of the situation, neither. So, I mean, he's just a crash dummy. He's willing to do dumb stuff like hand a Percocet off in, Cause there's, in it's, court. It's under, it's like, what are you going to do to me? Yeah, exactly. Obviously, in the clip, you can see they caught him. I believe we have the charges for him. Possession of a Schedule II controlled substance, possession of marijuana less than an ounce, and possession of an alcoholic beverage by an inmate. Yeah, and I guess he had it wrapped up in cellophane with, like, some spices to cover mm -hmm. up the odor. Of marijuana, yeah, correct. And the Schedule II controlled substance, I'm guessing, is the Percocet. Yeah, I would think so. As far as this goes, do you think it's going to taint the jury pool and they'll have to reselect jury? Because keep in mind, the YSL case, for anyone who doesn't know, is mostly involved with shootings, murders, and uh, drug dealing, right? Those are like the main allegations that they're having to defend themselves against right now. Now, Young Thug wasn't charged. He claims he didn't know that it was being handed off. He was just dapping up his mans and got handed drugs, right? Immediately handed it over to law enforcement. Law enforcement gets it, realizes what they have, and, uh, you know, they, they, they see it's illegal. That just leads to the question, can the jury pool even look at him unbiasedly at this point? I think it's almost an impossibility. How can you do the thing in court that you're about to be accused of that the prosecutor is going to make a case against you for? I think for in Thug's case, because we don't know what the intention was, there's no way that anybody can conclusively say, oh, he asked for this. Yes, yeah. it's, it's possible he's in solitary, so he might just be looking to have a good time or, you know, take away some of the pain. But nobody can say that for sure. Right. So from his perspective, he ha he's going to look bad now in front of the jury. Correct. You know, this may have been done to him on purpose. And think about this, right? What if he legitimately didn't ask for that, right? And what if he gets handed it and now he's like, great, I'm fucked. Yeah. Like... Thank you. Now the whole jury sees me as this drug dealing like kingpin, which I was trying not to portray. Like he already had his back kicked in by other co-defendants that took plea deals. Right mm -hmm. now he has he's stuck with this other obstacle and this mount like mountain of evidence coming and raining on him. Yeah. Do, do you think if you were his lawyer, you would try to get the jury reselected just immediately? Or do you think you try to like I, I don't think I would even wait for it to play out and see what happened. I would try to immediately immediately. Yeah. Even in my head, if that's something you'd want, that's something just just in my head is like that's you would ask your lawyer to do that for you in a mm. place that's not a courtroom the fact that it happened in a courtroom almost to me paints a picture that this was done without his saying it and he comes up from behind him and he does yeah. seem in the video just from my perspective the way i view the video he seems a little surprised you know he looks down and looks back up and goes like this put yourself in in his shoes you're not gonna be like hey sir hold up look what i got you're gonna be like oh shit save this for later because i'm gonna be stuck in jail there ain't yeah. shit to do i don't have a tv like you know whatever yeah, like there's even that perspective to take what if it was without his knowledge or consent but all of a sudden he's just like oh well i can't use this you know that's yeah like, i mean uh, it's like an aid i mean we all know thug is like been known for opiates and other drugs well he has a song called perk yeah i yeah. mean obviously he has a, a chemical dependence on this kind of stuff like he's done withdrawing at this point you can imagine but at the same time like once an addict always an addict kind of in my head i can't see anybody being like pass this off to me during the jury trial unless he doesn't like who's on the jur jury and he's trying to get it dismissed on purpose i mean but even then if you think about that 
it's already a hard enough case because of how famous he is to get an unbiased group of people together. The jury selection is going to go on for, in my opinion, months because of this, because it's just like, and then you have the crash dummy, Khalif, who's just like willing to just crash out in front of everybody and just do a Percocet deal, which funny enough, he does eat a bunch of Percocets and ends up having to get his stomach pumped for some of these charges so they could find out what all he had on him. Tased the shit out of him in the courtroom. And I don't think that helped in, after ingesting a huge amount of contraband. No, definitely you know, and not. And when they say alcohol, I'm half tempted to wonder if it's like hooch. That takes a different toll on your body than drinking liquor or beer. Yeah. It's more toxic. You don't think he had the hooch on him? You think he had already ingested that and that's what they found when they pumped his stomach? I don't know. I mean, you think he swallowed like a whole vial? I have no idea. Because like, they said alcohol. That's the charge that had me kind of confused because I'm like, what exactly? Like, I, I went to the same place. My, my brain went to, okay, it was probably hooch. Like, if it was in like a small liquid bottle i bet you you swallow the entire like fireball style bottle and that's a part of the reason why they had to pump his stomach in in my head i'm thinking he had already drank that prior like this dude's turning up in prison he's accepted his consequences like they tested his blood i mean not that even like when they pumped the stomach like they found oh because like when they're pumping your stomach i imagine they can test it all and figure out what all you've ingested within at least his last 24 hours 12 hours whatever Possibly. Cycle no goes on. I know yeah. they test your blood usually. And that's another thing. They could have t- tested his blood and found alcohol in it and been like, this man's been turning up in his prison So No, I think he definitely swallowed a bag full of marijuana and Percocet. And if that's not protected in the body, that can definitely have a negative effect up to death. I mean, obviously, for sure. Do you think that this will affect the other co-defendants besides Young Thug as well? Just the fact that this has been a kind of popular topic and this video has been making its rounds on the internet. Do you think it's somewhat tainted the wire? SL case even more. I think as far as a public view, it, it's further dwindled. The further this case goes along, the less people in the world, or especially in America, are available to serve on that jury because more and more people become aware of it over time. Which is why I was wondering, maybe that is the, the purpose of, you know, maybe it was done on purpose so that they're dwindling the pool even further, even further, even further. I would think that wouldn't work in his advantage though, honestly. The more people that know about it, the more people are going to be biased against him, I would think. That would lead evidence and credence toward the other one that he didn't know that he's being sabotaged. But then that lends the, lends the question, who's sabotaging? Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, Young Thug chose to do the things that put him in this place. But at the same time, like, he was not surrounding himself with the best of people, clearly. I mean, th- I think this shows very well that he didn't have the full knowledge of people he was surrounding himself with. And it's coming to his downfall at this point now. Taking a very dark political turn. Some yeah. Game of Thrones level power vacuum. Somebody trying to replace. That's like the feeling I get. It's not like I can make any calls on that. It's almost like somebody can see a, an opportunity. Yeah. Overall, very, very sad situation. Uh, you know, hope the best for Thug. I do enjoy his music. So hopefully, you know, he manages to beat this. But it's looking more and more grim by the day. Do you have any closing statements? that you'd like to make on this topic Uh, free thug man we'll end on that free thug this is tombstone tourist i'm rugburn i'm pickled landon appreciate you all watching the video don't forget to like comment and share with a friend till next time this is tombstone tourist